Hello, David. Do you hear me? Good with superb experience. Yes. Yes, now it's much better. So because I, I was experiencing the same issue and so I was trying just to connect because it's very important to, to transmit this live streaming through my Facebook group uh, as well. And so because of that, so I, 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 I was confronting to, to technical problems, but okay, now it's solved. And I'm so sorry that the another two uh, guests they left the, the conference room. I hope that they will come back. Um, but because there is someone new and this person um, is waiting for a long time for me, I don't know, probably for two or three months. Um, because I'm always so busy and Hello, Tufik. Uh, good evening. I don't know um, uh, what is the time zone in your country. Okay. So just let's wait for for the third guest. Mm. He's active in the medicine um, uh, field for many years. He's my fan, my follower, <laughs> uh, who, who follows me on Facebook and of course in, in my group, Facebook group as well. Okay, so our topic for today, just let's start if he will be uh, here then. Uh, let's uh, um, talk about the business coaching because if you remember uh, the last time we have been uh, talking about uh, the coaching and especially quantum coaching because it's something new and it's very very challenging especially to me yes and uh, how could you create a, a coaching methodology in quantum coaching? Because there is a lot of people who, who, who are interested so in, in the coaching methodology, yes, especially in the quantum, because it's, it's a new niche. What do you think there about? First of all, hi everyone. It's very nice to have you shared this virtual space with you in a very high resonance. So I know this space is not just for uh, talking about coaching, it's about for development, it's about for finding um, answers to what we are yes. um, perceiving as reality in this experience. So quantum coaching, as Veronica has said, is a shift on consciousness where you can get to achieve better answers, where you can get to achieve awareness. Uh, we can get precision, we can improve flow, we can em get empowerment, and mostly we can enjoy our passion. Okay, but uh, for example, in the business coaching, yes, um, as a business coach, I can provide coaching to different niches. But in, uh, in the opposite, opposite way, so there are niches that they cannot provide coaching to all the niches. Do you understand my point? Yeah. It's like this, and I'm very curious about that. It's interesting because as you said, not everyone is open for everything. Yes. And it is true. It is true, we, 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 are, we are destined to fulfill an experience Experience, not just to follow a program, not just to, to go and try to achieve everything. We have to be very clear and very specific on what we are looking for. So based on it, of course, quantum coaching is going to be focused on those who are aware about uh, his resonance his, uh, or their, their own environment. So if you are still looking uh, for looking to yourself, if you're looking still to find what is your passion? What is your love? It will be maybe not uh, the right choice for you. I will say you tell in this 
clever experience because quantum is going to be focused for someone that is already focused on what they are. So if you find yourself mm-hmm. going to quantum mm-hmm. coaching, now you will tell me, but um, maybe life coaching experience is going to be suitable for this, uh, for this person. Yeah, it is suitable. But uh, not because of that, we cannot give assistance. We can, we, we can connect. We can try to reach that experience. We can try to understand what it is, the, the real self. But of course, quantum coaching is going to be more focused on that, on that person that is already uh, on an activity. Because it is, guide, it is it's going to help guidance into the, the main field. Let's say if you are um, an entrepreneur, and you're like building this brand, let's say shoes. You yes. love shoes, you've been doing shoes. That, that's what you are, you already know it. Quantum yeah. coaching will guide you to set a better, um, a better business plan, a better awareness of your market, a better awareness on how to work with your, with your field, not just because it is, it is your connection to what you wanna do, but it's gonna generate a dynamic. Now, why do I say that the quantum experience will not reach uh, for those who have not knowledge? Because uh, one way or another, the quantum uh, perspective needs to, be, uh, needs to be connected into what we know, what we know as a science, as a religion, as an art, as a cosmovision. So for understanding that, quantum can help you but it's better if you already have this, uh, this, this uh, understanding of your surround. Because if you, want, you are still, let's say, Christian or Muslim or Jew, and you want to develop into quantum, it's going to be a little bit uh, farther. So better finish understanding what is Christianity or what is Judaism or what is Muslim. But okay. also, not because you have this, this insight, you are not able to work with a quantum experience. The quantum is going to be making a shake of it. So if you're already a Christian and you say, I know I'm a Christian, but I know there is something more. There is something calling me that transcends what I know as Christian is and also transcends what I'm studying as a a science. It will be the quantum entanglement. Okay, so now now I guess it. So I think it's like... um... Uh, to studying profoundly a field like, for example, uh, the business coaching in general, yes, or uh, a kind of science, communication science, for example. And when you you are uh, going to studying very, very profoundly, so the field, it's like this, right? Yes. Both to, to get an extra profound experience on any field. I'm very happy to see it is uh, uh, it's on the medical, like let's say, field, so we can have maybe an understanding of it because uh, quantum is transcending what we know as the conventional or elemental, elemental a science. So we get to notice a lot of shifts. We get to notice a lot of uh, complexity in it. That's why it's important not just to have a background, but to have an understanding that you want to do it. I think that the fact that you want to do it, it, it tells a lot of about a quantum coaching because getting open to quantum, it is getting a shift. It is getting a new experience. So uh, of course, in quantum, we get in touch with what it is uh, the power of the mind, what it is the power of the, the heart, what it is uh, sacred geometry, what it is um, different fields as, um, uh, as a physicist, as a mathematician, as a, let's say, uh, bi- biology, quantum yeah. gets into biology a yeah. lot as well. Why? Because it's mostly the interaction of the water molecule. So the water molecule, as it expresses consciousness, it gets connected to all the fields. That's, what is import- why, that's why it's important to get a base, a base to work with. Uh, I will not let you take the program because I always try to uh, connect first with, uh, it could be a client, it could be a friend, it could be a prospect, uh, and explain what is this, because I don't want to charge something to someone that's not going to be understanding it. So if Mm -hmm. I have, let's say, a plan, a three weeks plan for a program, and on those three weeks, the first two weeks is going to be first understanding of what is physics and how we have been transcending into this consciousness experience, or this 
I like have... the, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so we, we have to be coherent with it. Yes, I have a question to you. Uh, just for example, how about the strategy? How could cool you define the strategy of the quantum? Or what kind of strategy could you apply into the quantum coaching? Because this is so important. This is like the key of, uh, of, of the coaching, the strategy and the methodology. So how could you apply that into the quantum? That we could, uh, or what we could start getting into it uh, will be a quantum flow. How do I express a quantum flow? It is an inner dynamic that centralizes what you are doing. So what is centropic? It is an uplift. It is going up. Mm -hmm. As it is, it is an special value, a principle that we find in nature. Everything is positive. We as humans, we find and we encounter like negative on our surround. But because we analyze it, we, uh, we get into this fractal experience. Mm -hmm. So we know that it is good or bad. But in existence, in consciousness, everything is good. There is no good or bad. Everything yes. is going up, it's going positive, just because of the fact that we know consciousness. So, of course, in a human experience, you get to notice like there is maybe uh, some illness or maybe there is a bad momentum or maybe there is a bad habit. So we understand that. Why? Because it does not let us reach our next level or our next goal in this human experience. That's why we consider it less than other things, but it feels good, it feels good. So we, we cannot deny that helping us one way or another. So from it, uh, what I, I, I can tell is this quantum flow. It is in all around us. It is around our food, it is around our water, it is around our desk, it is around our computer. So if it is already there, how do I achieve it? It's just being aware of those details. What's positive for me and what's guiding me into my uh, achieving goals. goals. So um, the quantum flow appears to us as, for example, when I go to the grocery store and I wanna pick one fruit, I know which fruit it's the sweet one or I know which one is the right one. So I just take it, it's that. It's been on the dynamic on flow, on flow. Okay. So clients, clients, believe me or not, clients, they do appear just because you start thinking and being aware that you are able to help them. So as soon as you feel your client yeah. comes, and I'm sure all of us have been experiencing this kind of uh, subtle connection that it is quite magical, that it is quite like yet not perceive as a product because everything that we are working with it's a product could be a compound like a chemical compound or could be a perk a souvenir but still yet human beings have not been designing this product but thankfully to some scientists we are already having the first like let's say subtle experience that is called the Planck scale experience the Planck scale what it is is the most small measurement particle that we have uh, as humans discovered on science. So the plan scale gives value even to thoughts, dreams, even to what we think is not imaginary. So soon we're gonna be having a scale for our thinking. Because we have AI, for example. AI is guiding us to this flow, dynamic flow. We're connecting to Wi-Fi, wireless experience, we are already getting to 5G. So all these like dynamic, just the interaction is gonna be generating this quantum flow for us to reach a certain specific level on our next business and our next acquiring. Yes, yes, I, I guess it. uh, it's very interesting. Why? Because it uh, uh, could be a methodology, a quantum methodology to create a um, flow and an energetical flow of clients, for example, yeah? If we will focus on that, then we could, for example, create a strategy how to, to, to create a streaming of clients through flow. 
Yes, because I'm a marketing strategist. Uh, so I'm passionate about strategies and to create these strategies as well. And uh, yesterday and today, uh, all the time. So uh, many coaches, the um, have messaged me and they asked me about the strategies and how to create it, yeah? And I have been thinking to introduce the, the quantum coaching so into, into the normal coaching, like, like a, a flow of, of energy to motivate and to attract people. So it's like you you were explaining like like uh, right now yes just to to attract the people and to teach them how to create abundance through energy and flow. Uh, right insight and it's interesting because um, facts don't let us lie on what we are experiencing and just because. We are connected. I mean, we are 7.2 billion people. What yes. are the chances of being connected to quantum are getting bigger and bigger? Why? Because there, there are persons that they are dreaming on their heart and they want to succeed not just on business, but on life experience. And that, that feeling, that's already quantum. So that quantum experience, you I know you want to do this into uh, into your your enterprise, like saying in your in your business, because you have that feeling. So that connection yes. is already a quantum entanglement. That we yes. tell is a quantum entanglement. As you want to share that experience, of yes. course, it's going to be increasing, and you have mandatorily, and that's very specific for you, Beryl. It's mandatorily for a quantum business experience you have to follow your heart and that sense that sensation that that magic experience you mandatorily have to follow because if not the quantum field gets disconnected and all what we know as math it's gonna be like going to uh what we have understood as entropy as entropy nowadays it's getting to an understanding that is not entropy, it doesn't appear entropy. In the real vacuum field, mm -hmm. you know, on what it is energy, everything is positive. But we as human beings, again, we have discovered ways to understand one thing better than another, so we can progress. But still, everything is good, everything is positive. But as we know in our hearts that it's positive, now we can take choices. For but, it, uh, I have a little presentation. Maybe can I share it with you? Yes, yes, sure. Uh, it's amazing to 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 discover so profoundly the. I have set it up uh, yesterday my my Zoom account to can share presentations so with uh, with the guests. So I'm very glad that that I did it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, quantum impact. Is the experience. I don't want to tell that it's uh, an enterprise or a corporation or something yet because quantum impact, I, I want it to be a quantum experience. So beyond uh, what you see the sphere, as the plank is an sphere, the plank scale is an sphere, uh, there is the interaction. So please, in this presentation, try to find yourself. It is very dynamic for you to understand it. And also, I want to thank uh, Veronica Seman for this space, uh, this beautiful field that we have created. And use, mm -hmm. please, this record, because it is record, it is being transmitted on Facebook. We've got now already connected to different dimensions. Try to, if you want to go after, to go uh, on a deeper understanding, make a, um, a, an open watch of this. You can review it. Please enjoy it. So let's start from something. Everything is vibration. Everything is a vibe. Mm -hmm. From the water molecule to the sun universe, and it's keeping the same structure, as you can see. It's an experience of spheres. It's an experience of um, geometry. But of course, this comes uh, for us for an experience of sustainability, an experience of what we know as a business, because we are in here doing business. Yes. The, the space that Veronica has created for us is to develop awareness of how we can co-create abundance in our life. Not just I want to be better uh, on doing my sport or selling shoes, but I'm doing better in life. So I have to 
this quote of this guy, he's called Gary Vaynerchuk. He's a very nice entrepreneur from New York. He, he, he was uh, born in, in East Europe, but he migrated. And he went from, from the bottom. Now he has an enterprise about a million dollars. But what, what I take from him is laziness comes when you are chasing money instead mm -hmm. of a game where you love the process. So this is an invitation for you to forget the idea of money. Money is giving you stress. Go for the game of getting your awareness, the game of getting your food, the game of getting your uh, entrepreneur. Because in the process of this business, you're going to grow. So let's forget the idea of money because this is magical, a magical momentum. We're doing an experiment. Because if you forget the idea of money, I'm sure you are paying your bills. I'm sure you are paying your rent. How? Quantum coaching. That's how we're doing it. We start, as I said, frequencies, and this is the beginning. I want to give you this clue. As we sleep, as we work, as we go through different stages on our day, we have to understand frequencies. So when we sleep, we have certain frequencies. When we go to, um, to a study, we've got certain frequencies. Why? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. the, we module the brain in order to achieve a better understanding, of course. For studying this, you can go and use machines. You can do uh, a cavity resonance into your brain. You can use um, maybe an electro, um, electro brain uh, um, how is that? Like test, so you can get what are you working with. And you can module it. Yes. Let, let's work with something simple. If we're going to work with frequencies, like for sleeping, try to make it like more... Um, more open frequencies like we have on, on set on delta if we are gonna be like doing our daily life i do recommend you use better weight the better weight will give you to what it is your physical sense a, a, a difference that if you go to delta you're gonna be working on what you are not perceiving this uh let's say deep sleep state where we secret DMC, for example. The DMC connects us to our dreams, connects us to what we can perceive into up, uh, our unconscious mind, while beta waves connect us to the conscious mind. Yes. Knowing this, it's going to be, for example, the beta wave is going to be the sound of the city. The delta wave, in this case, is going to be like the breathing of a bee or the breathing of um, a uh, hummingbird. It's going to be a different frequency. This for you to have an understanding and to understand that in every state of the day, you have different frequencies. So mm -hmm. now it's something interesting. I'm talking about frequencies. I'm talking about the brain. So we have to understand that this is our antenna. This yes. is our river. Everything is coming in here. But from where? That's the interesting part. From where? Now, from... Egypt, from Mesopotamia, from uh, what we know as old cultures, Mayan, Aztecs, uh, we've got Babylonic, we've got also Chinese. They do have been sharing this sacred geometry pattern, the flower of life. I'm sure you have seen it. If you go to a cathedral, if you go to a church, maybe you'll find this sacred geometry on crystals, you find it on colors. And mostly it is the connection one heart to another. So if you go back to the brain and you want to accept every frequency, and it is proof to quantum medicine, that if you listen your heart, you're going to be connecting to your brain, but all the ideas that are positive are coming from your heart. The rest is the resonance working and working and working. Of course, we've got a lot of factors to uh, understand that, but the idea is to connect your heart. While you connect your heart, mm -hmm. you improve the resonance on your brain. And we see the sacred geometry, as I said, on different cultures. In this case, we've got Buddhist experience where it is expressing a color, it is expressing a shape, it is expressing a lot of symphony. This is guiding already our, our heart into a higher vibration. Mm -hmm. As I said, everything is based on, on, on science. So the Fibonacci sequence that it is most of the experience that we have done it 
it is uh, through the understanding of Leonardo da Vinci, for example, how our, our world is being made. It is through the Fibonacci sequence. And that's how our heart is working. The Fibonacci experience even, it is noticed that our heart is the center of our universe. Maybe Tifik, you can, you, you can help me later with that. Our first cell in our, in our motion, it is on our heart and it's not moving. That's why our heart is not getting cancer. So the most beautiful organ in our body is gonna be our heart. Of course, the brain is so important. Why? Because it's gonna be receptive. Everything that I'm cultivating on my heart is gonna be going to my heart, to my head, to through, my brain. Through the so mind. That I under yeah, through the mind, of course. Now that we understand how it works, so for example, I wanna, uh, I, I wanna make a smile someone. I think it with my heart appears in my mind. How do I give it a flower? Do I uh, do I write something? Do I send or do I just give a call? I'm making a smile someone. Now that I have this, I can use sacro geometry. I can use patterns. I can use um, algebraic construction. Why? Because I can organize my thinking, my heart, and my process on sending the impulse from my heart into my brain so it can get a sequence. And of course, now we know computing. Now we know even quantum computing. We know encryption, script encryption. All that science that is on computing, of course, it's based on the same dynamic of the, of the body. It's in the same dynamic of the, the human. So as we, as perfect machines, we can program that, we can program our body. We can program a lot. How do we start doing it? By the understanding of what it is, a torus. This torus, it is the principle of the universe experience. Why? Because it's how everything flows. There is no a particle in this universe that is not flowing with it. And of course, there is a space. But as you see, is a species of donut. The donut itself is the whole universe going up and down and across the, the donut, let's building and fulfilling the universe. So as they move, as particles move, we can get to understand how we can move in our progression. Let's say I want to reach my, let's say, $100 sales per month on shoes, selling shoes, but am I loving the shoes? Am I contemplating my guests or my clients who love the shoes? How the materials are resonating? Mm -hmm. What are they based on? Who were working? Who, how was the, the marketing side? As we know business and everything implies, we can apply this into a tourist field to understand what it is, our product. Let's say this is our product. Mm -hmm. And I want to apply it into this universe. So I have really to place it on the universe. So I'm sharing it. So this is complex. Why? Because we are working with uh, patterns, frequencies, and this is our realm. This is what we are experiencing. So at the moment we mix it, of course, it seems like something uncomfortable, maybe something well not designed. But one way or another, if you get to notice it, beauty itself, it's underrated because on and on, every day are appearing more beautiful experience, more beautiful ways. This is, for example, a nanoparticle that now we are using for, um, to cure ourselves. But of course, it appears on a quantum design. We've got a quantum computing again. And all this comes through a wormhole. The wormhole is where you connect one particle to another. So your mm -hmm. heart and mind are connected to this wormhole we have created today. So as I see, a wormhole, there is no time to experience on it because it's eternal. Is what uh, Sir Einstein was telling, a mathematician, you know, Albert Einstein, was telling about this connection into the universe. So he already gave to us this quantum connection. And imagine, it is already like 60 years that it has appeared to us, but we have not been using it. Why? Because, you know, society, uh, order, and there are people, because I want you to be aware, there are people as well that they are not using this. As they are using other, like, let's say, lower vibrations, 
and we are aware we're going to get rid of it because it's all fashion. It's not working. It doesn't give me a good economy. And we cannot blame those people because it's part of a structure. Now, why do I ask? Why do I ask people or another? Because on a wormhole, you get the understanding that good or bad people, we are one. We are all the same. So no matter if your neighbor does not want to reach a better understanding or doesn't want to reach a better life limit, you are here doing it. Now you are able to do it, to use your quantum experience. So we have now in here a model that expresses that each one of the balls is, is, is one of us. So we are multiple in the universe. We are different in the universe. We are entitled to experience the different world. And you've done it, I'm sure, to your dreams, to your imagination, to pictures. So every dimension, every appearance of yourself is going to give you a chance for improving this connectivity. And that's how we perceive universe. Now we have a mechanic to define it. We have a mechanic to, to work with it. We've got patterns. We've got really the chance to understand how our world works. So yeah, this is mostly what quantum uh, coaching to you. Uh, as I said before, uh, this, uh, this space that Veronica has created, it is very special. So uh, for all of you that are connected, please, do not hesitate to, uh, to connect through a DM or maybe a, a Facebook message because we are launching through this space uh, a special book. It's a, a quantum book experience that, um, that you're going to be receiving this solstice on the 21st, December 21st. Why the solstice? Because I've been following certain patterns into my, uh, let's say, success experience, into my business of what is quantum coaching. And I understand now that every day has value. And in the whole day, there are specific momentums where you can achieve a higher frequency, not just because it is a pattern, a mathematical pattern, because history has teached to us that's why we are having, for example, festivities. You know why the, 20, the 24th it is uh, uh, Christmas? Because the 21st is the highest point of our sun. It's our highest vibration for our son. So we achieved that. And that was why the master, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, came into this like high momentum of entanglement for humanity. So he came on that momentum to give us the understanding of so many like practical tips, like be good, eat it healthy, eat it well, make good to others, because on this momentum is how you generate abundance, you generate more. So on the 21st, if you want to do something good for your life, you want to make a shift, contact us. Download the book and start on your higher momentum. And independently, you are not reading the book. All the knowledge is with you because by the 21st, everything is going to be connected so we can raise a higher vibration. But I believe that uh, all the uh, help uh, um, bronze we have within ourselves. So everything what we need, we have within ourselves. So it means that we have to master our qualities, talents, and even our behavior and attitude. And I believe as well that we are radiating the frequencies, the energy frequencies, and through the energy frequencies, we are attracting as well um, everything into our life. Like we are collaborating right now. So because I believe in myself, I believe in my potential, and I believe that there is on an um, energetical level, um, a kind of frequency, energetical frequency, um, which attracts so everything what we want to achieve in our life, but it's necessary to believe in that. It's necessary to believe in that energy. It is, it is. The understanding of belief, what is a belief? Is it an idea? Is it a feeling? Well, I could tell it is a bias. It is a vibe coming from your heart and that belief, that certainty, because we believe what we can like really touch or maybe smell or maybe watch. And that certainty is given us value and we generate a belief, absolutely. But a belief indeed comes 
beyond even we get the idea. That, that's how, for example, babies, they do, they do keep alive. They are so young, they don't know about food, they don't know, even because of society, how we have built the healthcare, they don't have instinct because that, that animal instinct, we are losing it because we are already building a lot of enterprises, a lot of um, uh, apartments, houses. So we don't have that much connection with what it is Mother Earth. So believe me or not, a baby, it's coming already with his heart vibing into the belief of love, yes. into the belief of a high consciousness. So that's how we get impressed. The baby comes in presence from the heart. It's coming all what we can get, all the food. And for the mom, for the moms, it's very special because they understand how a baby transmits that, that, that real food, let's say, to the heart that a mom believes and eats from it. Because eventually the mom is not caring about the food like the apple. She's caring, the mom is caring about what the baby is giving to her. And I think it's one example of one of the most beautiful experiences. Uh, I think uh, so, um, because what is a belief um, besides uh, a baby? It's a capacity that we have to develop. Yes, because you believe in something, but you have to develop that. You have to master that and to let it grow. It's like in this situation, yes, we believe in this momentum. We believe in this uh, uh, frequency that it will grow, yes, that, that we will create flow, yes. And it means that we, we are developing it in this momentum. We are working at this. Uh, and it's the, the, the way how we creating a belief uh, through, how can I formulate that? Um, no, because I speak um, many languages and then it, it came in different languages. You know, then I have to think to, to translate that. Um, it's like uh, it's quantum through, because one way or another, no matter the language, you're connected <laughs> already. Yes, but it's like through, um, like to tr uh, through tr trust. Yes, so we are creating like a, a trustable relationship. Yes, through credibility. It's yeah commitment. In, in a kind of commitment, but it's <laughs> a trustable relationship through credibility. So it's exchanging of energy through what we are offering to each other. Like you are offering the quantum, I'm offering, for example, the business and NLP coaching. And the NLP coaching is as well a transformational revolutionary education because it's an education. So we have to educate ourselves to grow, to experience growth and, and abundance. Uh, Tufik, just tell us uh, more about you, please, because you are listening to us, but we don't know nothing about you. Uh, okay. Good evening. I don't know uh, what time is it in your country, but in Netherlands, anyway, it's uh, approximately 8 p.m. Yes, it's the same. Tonight. Same. Okay. Same uh, time. So I have to uh, uh, thank uh, Mr. David Bertaru uh, for uh, it's here for his clear uh, explication and interpretation about. Uh, how to uh, how to uh, 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 how to be uh, happy in this life because uh, he, he mix religion religion with uh, success so they give a, a religion inter interpretation I what I I, I instruct from his uh, 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 Interpretation that uh, Mr. David uh, mm -hmm. take uh, idea 
from religion, from Jesus. So uh, he wants to uh, to teach us that uh, from uh, Jesus we can uh, take uh, his uh, what he said about this life, and we support uh, religion conception and uh, to in order to uh, leave uh, success in life. Yes, religion interpretation is good, but uh, what I can see. Uh, there is a lot of many religion in this world. It is not just uh, Christ, uh, Christ, uh, Christianism. There is uh, uh, Judaism, the Christ, Jesus, uh, Muslim, uh, uh, Buddhi, uh, uh, and other religion. I don't know. Uh, in our earth, maybe there is uh, ten or uh, don't know how many religion. So. Uh, to take to uh, inspire, inspire, inspire. Uh, yes, inspire from religion. Every people, each every people has his uh, characteristic for that. But uh, there is because I am scientific. I am not, uh, I'm scientific, so I I believe in uh, matter. I believe in uh, physics, molecule, atomic. Uh, chemic, physics, okay, and I believe, uh, of course, uh, to uh, mathematics. And uh, we are here. We are working with illness, and we give uh, medicaments to person to, to because they are ill. So mm -hmm. medicament, we give it to it to for somebody because he is ill, but when he is ill in head. When he is ill in heart, I don't know how I give him uh, something. I, I can't. So, for the, in this situation, we have to uh, we have to inspire uh, to motivate to inspire. Yes, to speak with him and to give him advices and to give him uh, how. Maybe I, I receive a lot of people come to here. They are angry and they are not good. And they, I, I tell him, uh, you are ill. Yeah, I am not good. Why? Uh, stomach hole, you have something in eyes, nose. Uh, I am not good I, because I, I, I can't sleep. Why you can't sleep? Uh, because... Uh, my uh, my master in, uh, in work or I have some so you have you have physical uh, problem so you have to give him uh, some advices and some uh, words polite words maybe and he, he come back home to fix, uh, sorry can I add something we call in the NLP coaching that. Uh, when um, a person uh, has not uh, emotional balance, yes? Uh, when a person is, is experiencing emotional imbalance, uh, just it, it gets uh, uh, overwhelmed and stressed and it uh, um, creates a lot of soul pain through our uh, thoughts, yes? And and then uh, we get feelings. Yes. And the feelings and the pain we, the human beings, we create by ourselves unconsciously because we focus on, on the problem. Instead, to focus on the solutions, 90% <laughs> of the humanity, so the focus on, on, the, on the pain. And we are here to create the solutions, yes? And to teach the people to focus on the right things, to create solutions and, and not illnesses. Because all the illnesses that, that we get in our body, mind and soul, we create uh, by ourselves through our mind. Yes, yeah. through yeah. our convictions and beliefs. And because of that, I was explaining how important it is to, to develop a belief. Yes. yes, to master that, 
to master in what do you believe and why do you believe in that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I I I understood that you you mean to 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 to, to talk about psychopathology, uh, illness psychology, because physical pathology it is easy when he is uh, his head. Uh, something in head, I give him aspirin or something, uh, physical things, it's okay. But uh, psychopathology, uh, illness in psychology. So, uh, man, the, the nature of man, he want, he don't want to be in a bottle, depression. Uh, and he try, when he has a problem, lot of problems, in life, in this life, we have problems. And we treat one by one in this life. Mm -hmm. When I am a student, I have my problems. So I have to study a lot in order to. And when I am working, I have some problem with administration, with fiscality, with. And, and when I, I am uh, married, I have a problem with my son, with my wife, me, with my family. And all this life is. Uh, uh, some problems and the man is asked to uh, to walk across this problem but the problem when the man uh, leave a situation uh, without issues without door so in that moment maybe he develop a depression, stress, then the stress develop to depression. When he is depressed, he come here with depression, we give him medicaments of depression, there's a lot of. But if someone is here to show him the way, how to go out, how to go out from that, how to heal, how to heal the, the, uh, his emotions, because everything is about emotions, yeah? He is obliged to go out from that bottle. If he stay there, he is still uh, all his life in depression. But sometimes it is easy to make him out. It is easy. Maybe he has some, uh, some uh, psychic things we can, for example, banalize that problem and we take him out. But sometimes the problem is severe. There's no solution. When no solution, the man go irreversibly to the depression and irreversible depression and they take medicament for all his life. This is the benefit of psychology. When we are psychologue, we try to help people to give them solution, to give them how to go out from that that bottle. Situation. How to, yes, situation. But sometimes, sometimes we can't find the solution. For this case, we see out somebody walking uh, in street and uh, doing anything, and we without subject, without, they are in depression, in depression. Uh, Mr. David, uh, he, uh, he take from, from religion, he is a religion, I, 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 I feel, I feel that, that he is. May, uh, I, yes. may I specify? Quantum, quantum itself, uh, it is the mix. It is like a new stage of what it is, religion, Good and science so i take religion why because for me it is a very social connection and through the understanding of a belief we can get into the right science that i i, I do i don't understand what you are going to uh but you have to be of course very precise very very mathematical um in the, on the process but quantum itself is a mixture of, of both because one way or another if you go through science no matter which person of the world, of course, no matter which religion, but one way or another, science 
is going to be working for people. And people is still in religion. Personally, not about whole quantum coaches, but personally, I will take you from the religion outside with science so you can understand quantum. Because well, well said, Tufik, well said. We cannot be just on, on religion because religion is maybe this is small. I show you a huge universe that science, science definitely is giving you the chance to get to work with this, but with everything else. But quantum will wanna do it all. Wanna do it all one. That's the interesting part of the thanks for um, giving the insight uh, this week. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. Yes, I, I, I am uh, quite with you in that question. Yes, the religion is wider, is bigger than science. Okay, it's because uh, religion we, we, we have to have some relation with divine, with God, and with uh, the other words. And or you have a vision not from uh, some uh, molecule or atom, atomic, but you have to see all the universe and in that moment when you discover that you are a small particle small very very small particle in this earth in this universe in that moment you 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 you, you, you understood that a human is is not uh, bigger it, it is it's very small, small. yes mm -hmm. very very small exactly when we are in a plane uh, and we we see down how people living how when they because what uh, every when we go higher 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 and we see from for example for example we see a body from uh, 50 kilometers or 20 kilometers and higher higher we, we can laugh about what humans are doing we laugh because I see this is Veronica. Veronica sleeping, Veronica go there, Veronica go there and, and sleep and we go, go out and we go and eat quickly and they go there and they go out. So because our life, when we are on earth, we, we have impression that this life is big and uh, it is important and it is important. But when we are higher, higher in sky, higher, and we see People, are, what did they do? It is, uh, they are moving, just moving. Uh, from Japan, he go to USA, from USA, he go to Paris, Paris, he, he buy something, he give something, and he go sleep and he wake up. And there's no thing. For this case, God see us from sky. And he know what, what are, we are doing. We are doing some, Something uh, which lets you laughing in front of this world uh, and universe, large and very, 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 very large. So, uh, education, religion, education, or ourselves, is so more, more important, and it is uh, very, uh, it is uh, very important to the equilibrium of. Uh, human for the balance yes. Uh, yes because of that so uh, exists um, um, the education the communication and the universum because we the the human beings we belongs to the universum and we are the one who are creating the frequencies of the energy and we are the one who we attract everything towards us and who uh, are creating everything around us in the world if you will pay attention um, around everything in the world what exists who created that just ask yourself we the human beings it seems incredible it seems crazy or unbelievable but everything what exists in this life the human beings created this. 
every single theory, methodology, ideology, like the religious ideologies, they are created of the human beings who created that. Or it's, oh, yes. And how we created that through our beliefs, through our passion, through our hearts. As David said um, uh, during his presentation, that everything what is created in, 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 in this life is created through uh, love. Even uh, a relationship, yes, uh, between uh, the parents and the children, it's created through love, right? Through heart. And also the love, how, how is created the love? through our uh, heart, through, through the frequencies of the energy that, that we are radi radiating towards each other through belief, right? Because so I'm belief in, in David, so I'm this evening here. And everything in our life is created by this way, through believing. Because if we don't believe, we cannot create nothing in this world. Even you, you can, if you don't believe, you cannot get the love. And because of that, a lot of people, they are not happy in their relationship for this reason. Because they have problems with, with themselves. They are struggling with, 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 with this kind of problems. And then they are creating this, but it, it happens unconsciously. And everything in our life works like this. You know, not for, for, for nothing exists the law of attraction because we are attracting everything. We are creating, we are the creator of our life. Or for example, you are the creator of your relationship. If you will pay close attention to your behavior or to your attitude in your relationship, you, you will discover a lot of things that you will be surprised. You can be very happy in your relationship. You can be incredibly happy, but you have to create that. You have to, to pay attention I'm, I'm giving you a very simple example. Just take a flower or, or a plant, yeah? Yeah, if you take a flower, yeah? What does it need like to, to cultivate that, to, to get something beautiful? It needs attention, passion, devotion, right? Yes. Everything in our life needs that, love through our heart, attention, right? Because, and that's the biggest problem eh, of the human beings. They want and they pretend to get love, but they are not able to give that. And because of that, so we are this evening here just to, to, to create something beautiful, to create opportunities, to create transformation for another people, just to heal the, their pain. I, I, I was finished, I, I have created these days a program, time uh, and health management. You know, it, this program treats everything in our life and how to handle, how to schedule, how to create more time to be happy with yourself, first of all, yeah. First of all, you, you have to heal yourself to solve the problems within yourself. And when you will be happy with yourself, then you will be able to make your partner happy. And unfortunately, a lot of people, they are not aware of, of, of this fact. It's very easy. I'm, for example, um, a person of actions. Yeah, I really, I truly love the actions. And if you will pay attention uh, to to my uh, Facebook group, I call my Facebook group Business Actions Accelerator. So it means 
that you are the accelerator of your actions. You, you are the creator of everything. You accelerate your actions through your decisions, through your behavior, through your attitude, through your honesty, right? So to me, it's, it's, it's very easy. O only you, everything what you want in your life, you have to create. If you want a beautiful relationship, you have to create that. You have to work at that to get a beautiful relationship. Because from nothing, you cannot create nothing. Do it, does it make sense? I think so, yeah? Because to get something, to get love, you have to give love, first of all. Eh? Or to, to get a beautiful flower, you have to cultivate that. You have to, to give water, you have to give attention, a warmth. These are very simple examples like, that's very easy to understand. I have a question uh, to you and to you, David, too. Uh, in your opinion, what is the, how can you define uh, the, the level of understanding and intelligence? How can you define that in your perception? and it's going to be acceptance because as you said I believe absolutely is an acceptance I believe on something I accept that something it's like going back to the example of the baby the baby accepts his body accepts being on maybe uh, uh, with his mom on a hospital uh, on an environment the baby accepts that's how he believes on life but he's accepting a lot of things now the acceptance of life maybe is giving him something extra something better okay so yes uh for measuring well could be a little bit complex because uh the scale the magnitude is still not designed um let's say like, like a mi microscope i want to see like inside something i can use a mi microscope in this insight, there is no yet, um, yet a machine. We will see it because I'm going to be sure like how deep have you been dreaming? Soon it's going to be an app for it. Soon it's going to be something that's going to be telling you, oh, okay, you did not sleep well. Maybe you have to take a nap uh, 30 minutes, uh, I, I don't know, maybe 4 p.m. But it's going to be appear in the future. By now, what I can suggest, it is a stages of a process because from going from A to B, I'm gonna have the same process, no matter which person, no matter which intelligence, but it's gonna be the same process. How am I I'm gonna be sure? Maybe it's gonna be how fast or how consistent I get the goal. I wanna yes. sell again, $100 uh, per month. Okay, how am I doing it in the whole month? Well, we can use Gregorian calendar to make a schedule, to make a process. Okay, from process you can, get into this like um, diversification of mm -hmm. what is what but uh, for me in especially like for for quantum it's gonna be quite difficult to separate like uh, you know this this one is like higher on um, thinking than other person because uh, we want to make it one but of course it's gonna be uh, notorious that that person has maybe more acceptance or more tolerance to something than the other so uh, mostly it's going to be in the process. I'm going to explain why I have asked this question, specifically this question. Because the understandable level is the most important yes, in, for our perception. is the way how do we perceive the, everything around us. It, uh, so you can as well um, um, link it to your vision like and to master your vision yes where are you now and where do you want to be 
so within three years like this and to create that and like you you make a combination so so or you can master your mission to create your mission just knowing uh, what is your mission exactly and what do you want to create or to transform or what kind of solution uh, do you want to offer to, to the people, yes. Because when you create a mission, a vision, and you understand that on your understandable level and through your perception, of course, yeah, then it means that you can transform lives. Yes. Yes. Tofik, it's it's about communication science. It's very very profound. Yes. La société en français, ça serait un peu mieux, mais en anglais, c'est un peu compliqué pour moi. Ça me fait rien. Donc. David, tu tu comprends français? David, do, do... Oh, je parle, j'ai compris, j'ai compris. Oui. Uh, un petit peu, oui. <rire> un petit peu. Un petit peu. Oui. Pour le, le degré d'intelligence que vous avez évoqué, Veronica, euh, bon, en médecine, il y a ce qu'on appelle le TI, le test d'intelligence. Mm -hmm. Donc, euh, euh, chez un, un psychanalyste, un médecin, un psychiatre, il, il peut évaluer l'intelligence de l'être humain en pourcentage. Donc, les plus intelligents, on arrive à, à un TI qui dépasse les 90%. C'est les plus intelligents. Oui. Maintenant, maintenant pour l'explication, le, le, c'est quoi l'intelligence et c'est quoi son niveau et tout. Bon, l'intelligence, on dit quelqu'un qui est intelligent, c'est une personne qui, qui comprend vite, qui analyse et qui donne des solutions. Mm -hmm. Qui donne des solutions. Bon, L'intelligence, euh, il comprend vite, il analyse vite, il donne des solutions. Maintenant, la solution qui diffère, il y a la mauvaise, il y a la bonne. Einstein, il était intelligent, il était le, le, le plus intelligent de, 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 de son époque, mais bon, il a découvert le, le rapport d'énergie, le MC au carré, Ensuite, il a découvert le, la fission et la vision atomique. Au lieu de donner des solutions à la médecine nucléaire, il a donné une formule pour euh, fabriquer une bombe atomique. Et ça a donné des résultats néfastes, graves à Hiroshima et Nagasaki. Donc, il y avait des milliers de personnes qui ont oui. perdu leur vue. Et c'est à cause de l'intelligence excessive d'Einstein. Maintenant, il y a, sur la Terre, il y a beaucoup de gens qui sont vraiment intelligents, mais il y a ceux qui utilisent l'intelligence pour le bien de l'humanité, il y a ceux qui utilisent l'intelligence pour détruire l'humanité, donc il y a le bon, il y a le mauvais. Mais l'intelligence, c'est comprendre vite, analyser et donner des solutions. Sur le point médical, comme je viens de le dire, donc c'est un test qu'on qu le prépare, qu'on le fait. Des personnes qui viennent consulter un, un psychiatre, un, un médecin. Donc il y a le test, il y a tout un protocole à suivre pour définir le pourcentage de l'intelligence. Maintenant, l'intelligence et la vie personnelle, c'est vrai, il est tout à fait juste d'être intelligent pour vivre. Mais parfois, le plus heureux parmi nous, c'est l'ignorant. Un ignorant qui ne sait rien. Il est, il est bien. Il est dans un bonheur exceptionnel. Lui et sa femme qui ne comprend rien. Il a des enfants. Il va au travail. Il revient. Il ignore tout. Delete everything. Pour lui, la vie, c'est simple. Il a, il, il a des enfants, une petite maison un petit travail, il mange, il dort, oui. il est tout le temps heureux, il est tout le temps heureux. Par contre, il y a des gens qui sont extrêmement intelligents, qui pensent jour comme la nuit, aux problèmes du monde, aux polémiques, 
pour guerre et tout, ils sont intelligents, mais qui sont malheureux. Donc l'intelligence ne fait pas l'heureux, il ne fait malheureux. C'est encore euh, un point à soulever. Est-ce que l'intelligence euh, a un rôle dans la réalisation du bonheur de l'homme Je ne sais pas. Donc euh, euh, le bonheur... Excusez-moi un moment, vous euh, pouvez euh, oui. parler, parler en anglais yes. Parce que pour moi, ce n'est pas un euh, problème. Pour, <rire> pour David, euh... oui? David, il ne comprend pas. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. Oui, petit peu, il y a quelques technicalités parce que ma langue maternelle, by the way, pour tous nos assistants, je suis en Amérique, je suis dans tous les autres continents, je suis en Équateur. Équateur? that it is on South America, in the middle, just on the zero point. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, I could understand your, your French very nice, by the way. I love it uh, <laughs> because of my Spanish, my native language. So uh, the Latin, yeah, it is in there, as the English, uh, of course. In Ecuador, you, you, you speak, uh, I think, Spanish. Yeah. It's better to see. So, uh, well, listening to you, yes, uh, it's very, uh, very comprehensive to understand how today we have this, um, this perspective of the world. Yes, of course, from, imagine from what was uh, the atomic bomb to here, how it's been happening. We have to take also on account what it is at uh, the motion, what it is radiation and everything. And it is nice because that topic yes. we, take, we take on account in quantum mechanics, not to understand what it is like uh, radiation itself, but to understand that one way or another, that energy going into any molecule, it's coming from a scale that it is based on the Planck. So a first Planck frequency that we, we could tell is the gravity itself, the motion of gravity, because in this year it appears a new, uh, a new uh, what it is, a new, new, a new statement of what is gravity. And gravity is given us a chance, not just to understand that time does not exist, that it is something new, it's revolving science. Time is something that we should not take care of because it is like a different comprehension, from comprehension of what we know. This appears this year. It's not for yeah. you to panic, but it's for us to go a little bit deeper into science, for us to really get into study. As you said, if we don't do like an ed educational purpose in our yes. lives, Yes. It is not a way we can see a future. Yes. And it's interesting to understand the uh, two fixed perspectives because um, if we don't get to work on how we relate to our history with science, it is not going to be like a close future with an efficient, uh, with a uh, proper, thoughtful experience. So, uh, yeah, it is, it is nice. <laughs> Yes, to, to create a future and in general to create um, our vision. So we have to, to master our abilities, our uh, capabilities and to offer this to the world, to share uh, so our gift, uh, which we have we, within us. Because everything what we need, we have within us, but we have to master that. We have to educate, to educate that, yes. Anything, if you get to, for example, I did practice a very specific, uh, let's say martial art that is Qigong or as known as Kung Fu. But for getting to master that, you have to practice at least three hours per day your whole life. So yes. it means if you want to master quantum or quantum coaching, at least you have also to, to dedicate yourself two to three hours per day. You wanna master swimming, you have to do two to three hours per day to master it. Why do I say so? Because eventually for us on this quantum entanglement, we just miss time, we, we miss time, but we are still getting the experiences. Now, how often do I get it? How often do I, do I achieve it? This is something of programming, something of getting to work with, because remember, one way or another, you are able to shift, to make efficient and to change your life. Because there is no way you can be stuck on something. There is no way that you cannot achieve what you dream. 
We are in a universe that everything that comes from your heart can be achieved. You want your, you want to have, as you said, a partner has to come from here. There is yes. no one outside. There is no one on a bar. There is no one on a restaurant, on a hotel waiting for you. If it's not in here being already with you, if it's in here already smiling, already sharing a cup of coffee, already sharing a sleep experience, that person is going to manifest on the street. It's going to manifest on, on your dining room. It's going to manifest on your life. I'm sure as it manifests, you're going to create that connection. It's going to be developing a better and brighter future. Yes, I uh, totally agree with you. Um, Tufik, what do you think about uh, uh, this definition? This definition? Yes, yes. Uh, where we, we were talking about with uh, David. Yes, I am okay with him. David uh, has a good idea and he is uh, clever. Very, very clever. He's, he's intelligent. Intelligent, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> intelligence, by the way, intelligence, it is something we do share all as humankind. So no matter which person, we are the same intelligence. There is nothing impossible. There is no boundary for us. So as far as I can reach something, every human being is going to reach it. Now, if you do it business or not from it, might be a difference, might be a difference. But we make the difference. We are <laughs> the creators, right. yes, who makes the difference. So we have the choice on our hands. Yes, yes. yes. And that, there about is that we have to make the difference in everything. Even if we um, master our mission or our vision or even the transformation. I have another very important but basic question. Uh, Tufik, because you you said to me that you hope, you really hope that you can transform your life if you will join our uh, webinars. <laughs> uh, uh, how can you transform your life then? <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't have my thought. <laughs> uh, personal life, uh, it is my life. It is my life. It is personal. Of course, so, it's uh, yours. But in general, I mean, <laughs> how can you transform your life in the field where you truly want to change? Uh, in profession, I, I, I am good. I, I am working good, and I, in my life, uh, quite clear. It's uh, it's not a problem. Uh, life, uh, I have the syndrome, if you know. The syndrome of uh, uh, middle age. Now, when uh, the man is uh, in age or in the, the middle of his life, middle, mm -hmm. there is some problem. Yeah, so, we call this uh, age crisis. Uh, every single man uh, experience this age. So I'm a woman, so <laughs> I'm aware about that. I have studied profoundly um, the state of mind and soul of a man but uh, but as well as um, where is David he he he's gone David yes um, I'm I'm aware of of, um, of the state of mind and soul of of uh, of a man or about the psychological uh, uh, state because I have studied this I have studied this yes. prof profoundly and because this is very very important just to to study uh, the the psychology psychology uh when uh, when uh, when uh, when the life uh, become cold and uh, when we are in this age we need some uh, some 
hot relation. Some no good. changing. Yes, but uh, but with time, this is the problem of uh, uh, doctors. Doctors, when we are at university, uh, generally we uh, we are married with our uh, friends. Okay, when we finish uh, studies. We are in uh, 30, uh, 32, 33. We finish studies, we finish uh, university, and we start working. So our marriage generally is uh, around 32 years. And uh, with the same age with the woman, because she was with us in class. Mm -hmm. And when we uh, pass, uh, Sometimes uh, 10 years, for example, we have children, two, one, two children, uh, and the relation transform. Mm -hmm. uh, the appreciation to children and uh, the man still needing love. Attention. Yes. So because he is doctor, he received, he is appreciated by, uh, by women, by all. Mm -hmm. So he starts trying with you and you have relation in phone, in email, in fax, in, because we are working with companies and working with people. So there is the, the uh, doute, on s'appelle en anglais. How to doute? Je doute. Comment s'appelle le doute? Doute, no? I, I don't know how to, to translate that, no. Yes. Then, after 10 years, even after sometimes problems start coming, because marriage in the beginning was not a love marriage. It was just because she's a doctor with us, me, we were in classroom, so we are married. I'm not uh, alone. I know maybe 10 or more, uh, same uh, as me, who are married or, or Pharmacist to pharmacist or dentist to dentist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have the same problem as me. So, and uh, when you are with a doctor, she is uh, free. She is free. She can let you at any moment. So, uh, what I advise younger people, younger, I advise them that before marriage, you have to choose and listen to your heart about this woman if really if really your heart tell you that this woman will be for you and you will you will uh, live with her all your life so you have to love if you love her take her if you don't love her let her this is my advice to these young people who come to me to give them advices. I totally agree with you. And then in this case, we uh, we come back to, to the same topic uh, of David, because he said already that everything, so it's through the heart, through the love. Yes. And if there isn't love, there isn't connection. Mm -hmm. And it's not for a long period, it's for a short period. It depends on your own intention. In the NLP coaching, we are saying all the time that uh, every bad in, uh, experience has a, a positive intention. Uh, it, uh, it means that you can learn from your bad experience. Uh, and to sometimes, sometimes when we want to change, it's not me, because me, I am in, uh, my age is 48. So uh, uh, now I, 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 I can't live for myself, uh, own self. I have to live for all the person, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. daughters. So uh, sometimes we have to support 
the situation and to live with the situation because there are somebody with you. Because if I, I, I love myself, I want to change it. I will start my love. I will go away. I will uh, choose a beautiful woman. I will uh, leave. I will laugh. I will exploit this life. I go to everywhere in this world. But when we are in this age, we have to be stable and we have to be quiet. Because if we make some uh, error, we will just make distraction of uh, children. And uh, what I noticed in your mindset, because it's mindset, um, yes. your interpretation uh, in a lot of, of in you, you are formulating in a negative way. You have to switch from, from the negative to the positive. When you will do that, everything will transform in your life. It's within yourself. It, these are uh, patterns within you in, in what you believe. It's like probably it could be related to your um, past experience uh, um, that's more probably and you have to 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 switch from that from from the negative state of mind and so or uh, it's like uh, there is uh, emotional uh, diseases I, I through your conversation so I I can understand that without yes. that you tell me something <laughs> and yeah so you have to switch if you don't do that you will be never happy and you can solve that only you of course i can advise you something i can suggest you how to do that and i can just detect the issues your emotional uh, diseases and and the um, unbalance within you, because there isn't unbalance and you are not happy on, on an emotional level. And what does it mean that in your marriage you are not happy? Yes, not happy at all. <laughs> this is yeah, thing. but everything happens through communication, through love, through connection. You. It, it, it's is, is yeah, the, but it's necessary to create the uh, the soul the soul um, connection, and it happens through communication, through understanding towards each other. No, ah, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, possible uh, because I'm not in the beginning. I'm in the, the, the end of the, this. Uh, I know people, I know, but I know people who divorce and uh, the uh, after five years or three, four years, so they decided to, to be again together. And everything is possible in our life, believe me. We decided to make it, but uh, with some conditions, because I, I have to uh, stay and follow my daughters, I have two daughters. One in, at university, the other maybe uh, she will take you back here and we go to the university. Maybe when they are at university in, in another town, so I will uh, go from this town to there and I will leave my with my daughters. Maybe yes. It's it's your life. So I mean, you are the creator of of your life. And the conditions that you are creating in your life. So it's only your decisions, only yes. yours. Yes. It's if I see, if I see, it depends yes. on how how much are you uh, fulfilled on an emotional level. Do you know how much uh, is influencing so the the emotion the emotions our life in generally even even our personal development. If you are not aware of your um, emotional diseases, you cannot succeed in life. 
Yes. Uh, David, what do you think about this? About my arguments? Your argument is very good because it has a background. It has scientific basis even. So uh, it is good. But something we cannot forget, uh, in this case, scientific, I do embrace your position because one way or another, you are the one now saying, yes, there is a problem. And that acceptance, no matter what, brings you a solution. Yes. Because if you accept and you tell, I know that I have certain problems, could be with uh, your partner, your couple, could it be with uh, substances, could it be uh, into violence maybe, uh, you know. But if you accept it, automatically, because you understand there is a problem, exists a solution. So I think it's uh, something about uh, being calm, meditate on your heart. Um, because uh, through quantum medicine, we have noticed that uh, the heart is the one guiding, guiding or Uh, David, I cannot hear you anymore. No. Yes, now, yes, now I, I hear. Again? Yes, now, yes. Hello? Okay, good. So what I was telling is like, uh, yeah, the solution is there. The solution is, it's gonna appear no matter what, and I was telling about uh, medical professionals, they are exposed not just to the illnesses, I mean the bacteria, the virus, and everything. They are exposed to the feelings of the people. And mostly when you feel like with fever and you have a, a pain on your body, you are vibing on low frequency. And the doctor or the nurse or the specialist do absorb that frequency, like it or not. So it's very hard for, for a doctor to improve it. So I recommend again, meditate on your heart, meditate on yourself. Remember, you are the most important person on the relationship. Why? Because you are the one in front of me now. So as you are in front of me, I have to tell you, you are the most important in your relationship. So from you, that solution is gonna come. Of course, like it or not, the solution is there. Well. Uh, if you see the solution is getting divorced, there is a solution getting divorced. Or the solution is getting a new baby, the solution is getting a new baby. But it has to come from your heart. Uh, I, I believe Veronica has given to you a very good advice to follow. I will apply it on myself as well, because I think it's a very good one. Yeah, I have not been married Thank yet. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah, I will, I, I will think it uh, before doing it. Because I, I uh, on my personal belief, I, uh, I have to, to express that maybe having the idea of family is overrated. We have to think personally first. Am I okay with myself? Am I doing as, as a being? Am I fulfilling what I am? So next I can get a partner and I can get yes. someone else. If I'm doing it, if I, I'm already happy with I am and I'm doing it well, of course there's going to be someone. There's going to be yes. someone helping me and he, being helped by myself. So uh, Tufik, don't lose hope. I'm, I'm sure you're a very loved, lovely guy that you're gonna, you're gonna find peace on, on your heart about it. No worries about it. Okay. You are, you yeah, you are an intelligent man. So um, I believe totally in you that you have the ability to find a solution or to create one. That, that that's yes that's uh, that's the the best way i think because uh, when you don't see a solution you have to create one yeah this is a uh, human nature nature always we 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 we, we search research solution yes. now one day we will find the the best solution Yes, uh, I, I hope it for you. Um, as David said, that um, everything must uh, comes uh, from your heart. If you will uh, take a look into your heart, and if you will uh, discover what you truly want, because that's another thing. It's another issue. 
um, which uh, a lot of human beings uh, have, a lot of people they don't know what they truly want or what is what is the reason that they get the feeling, the emotional uh, instability. Because if you emotionally are unstable, so you you get troubles. You you get uh, less confidence, and and uh, especially in the relationship, yeah. And you have to you have to to do a research for yourself, for about yourself. No, not about your wife. You have to do a research about your your identity level, about your convictions, yes, and about your values to discover what is the problem within yourself that it it holds you back to be happy in your marriage mm -hmm. and another thing is to discover what are you doing wrong yes and to just because we are human beings and we make mistakes it's very normal you have to discover that just just for yourself yeah uh, it's possible to to make an analyze of your personality, of your qualities, especially when it is related to a relationship or marriage. You know what is uh, what is the miracle of the NLP? Because the, N the miracle NLP. NLP neurolinguistical reprogramming of the human mind and, and behavior. I'm a certified coach in NLP and it offers us the, the possibility to reprogram everything in our life. Our mind, our um, behavior attitude, uh, we can reprogram as well. Our beliefs, our values, convictions. Yes, mm. uh, and through through our our uh, levels, personal development uh, levels, we um, create the ability to transform everything in our life. Everything what is toxic and is damaging your life, you can change. Everything, the happiness starts from changings. From actions, when when you will start to 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 recognize as well your mistakes and everything what you are doing wrong, everything starts by yourself. Yeah, then you will be happy. And believe me, I speak out experience. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, that's good. Yes. That's beautiful. A beautiful thought. Yes. Yes. We. Oui. One moment. No, because it's about leadership. Yeah, uh, to master the the leadership skills, and when um, the leadership skills are not mastered enough, uh, we get a lot of issues in in every single field in our life. And it could be that um, you have to change something in your behavior. Yeah, in this, in this yeah, um, PNL is gonna be. I mean, your coaching, your method is gonna be precise for working with those level of ideas that we are not connecting properly. So it is mandatorily a reprogram of it. Yes. That's why, as I said in the beginning, quantum coaching might be not for everyone because it is it is a specific, it is very technical, scientific, and a yeah. spiritual way to reach a goal. But yes. meanwhile, another coaching could reprogram. So uh, neuro pro neuro linguistic program, N yes. NLP. Uh, it is, yes. yeah, it is working with your mind to understand how to reach yourself so you can understand what you want. It is very, very, very amazing how, how the human mind works and how, how the, the, the mind itself gets a structure.
structure into these uh, geometrical patterns that you can dig. And I'm sure you, because I can appreciate that you've been digging that science of how, how the mind works. Uh, it is applicable, yeah, for, for anything. And it is amazing to reflect since you are young, since you have like, I don't know, maybe five, you will tell me maybe less. Um, or even if you are very old, I mean, you have a mature state because uh, one way or another, what is working is the heart and the heart experience, it is as far as we can reach this human basal. But uh, what, what is amazing in the NLP techniques is that everything what we are percepting, we are percepting through our senses, like visual senses, kinesthetic, through feelings, yes. Um, the auditive, like through listening, and uh, two things. So I'm uh, not hundred uh, percent sure, but thousand percent sure. Uh, if uh, we are uh, gonna make an analyzing about uh, you, about your personality, that we will discover um, what is what is the core problem in this case, because it's there about, yeah. And well, most, most of the people, they remain in their comfort zone. Even if it's a toxic comfort zone, it, it, it's, um, they are experiencing uh, uncomfortability to live it, yes. And I think in this case, it's about you too. I'm sorry, being so directly, but um, we are here just to, to help you and to solve the problem, yeah? And it's again um, up to you to take a decision and to moving forward to, to solve it. Yes, yes, it will be that uh, maybe uh, one day I will find the solution. Um, maybe I'm not a person who who is uh, who is using uh, um, this word maybe because I'm a concrete person. Uh, I'm someone of actions, but okay. Uh, when you want to change something, so. Um, is like that you you have to make a decision if you truly want to change something in your life just do it do you know do you know the slogan of nike the brand nike nike yeah no. just do it just do it. <laughs> i love that so I, it's really amazing just do it so you have to to start to make changes and uh, of, of course, to recognize your own mistakes, because when you start to recognize your own mistakes, so you uh, are uh, mastering your leadership skills. Yeah? Yes, yes. As, as a truly man, so we, we are saying the, the woman's like, <laughs> because when a man starts to be aware of his behavior, attitude, um, and mistakes, because uh, that's awareness. When you recognize your mistakes, so you are aware of what are you doing wrong and what you are doing good. And it's it's not to offense you, but it's uh, I'm saying this to uh, just to to make it, it, it clear that you have to, to be aware or you have to, to get awareness about what is happening with you. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you have questions, just, uh, just ask me, please. Yes, of course, I ask you if, if I, 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 I need some problems. And if I will take a decision, I will uh, inform you before that. Okay, I want to thank you all. Uh, David, thank you uh, for, for this interview and uh, for this amazing experience and for your time. 
Uh, mm -hmm. to, thank you to yeah. Tofik for your time and for sharing your uh, story with us because that's what makes impact uh, when you uh, share your life story with another people and that, that you that you offer it hello that you offer it the the opportunity to another people to learn from you yes and so we call this in the business coaching and nlp coaching transformation through life story yeah okay yes and uh, i will uh, still working because corona is coming <laughs> <laughs> How uh, about Corona? How about uh, vaccine? Uh, it's everything is commercial, and we now with uh, with all together that um, it's like a commercial plan uh, that that has uh, has been uh, planned uh, many years ago uh, of Bill Gates because uh, the pharmaceutical industry belongs to Bill Gates, as we know. And it's like his interest is to, um, to sell the vaccines to all the world. Uh, while the, the people are suffering, he is enjoying he, here, uh, his investment because he, um, he told that he has invested in this uh, huge project, uh, I don't know how many milliards like this. And in so many years, he wants to, to return his investments. So I have um, researched uh, deeply this uh, situation and I have been um, in touch with uh, many persons around the world. I have talked to, to them and they told to me as well their opinion. And everyone is of the opinion that this is uh, like a trap. It's a jockey. Mm -hmm. This is not real because my mom, my mom has worked as a nurse for 32 years. She said to me, it's not possible that a virus come back twice. If, if, exi if uh, exists a virus, it uh, can be spread only once, but not twice. It's not, it's not logical, it's not real. Yes, but this is about uh, uh, the old virus, Rubiol, uh, Rujol, and, but influenza, every year there is a new influenza what we have to, what we uh, have to be aware is that this is a time of a transition it means that the governments uh, will change the structure of the in infrastructure of the economy uh, everything will change in, in the world and the people who know this they are creating something. They, they are they prepare themselves for for the transformation and for the transition, and that is where the people uh, needs to be aware of. Yes, about the the, the transition and and the changings. Because we are like now in Netherlands, we have lockdown, we have a total lockdown, so it means that we cannot move. Uh, it means that we it's allowed just to, to buy food and that's it, only that. And everything is closed. All of the supermarkets are, are open and uh, the, the most important institutions like the medical institutions, yes, uh, and, and, that, and that's it. <laughs> But this is a joke because uh, they are using uh, the weakness of the people just to 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 can realize their their uh, uh, plan and to can can return, of course, their investment. Because if if uh, all the counters if the all the counters don't get a lock, lockdown, they don't have a reason to sell the vac vaccinations the vaccines. 
but uh, there is not only Bill Gates. There is uh, uh, in China. Uh, we discover a vaccine in Russia, in Germany, and uh, and Pfizer in, in US. So yes, yes, of course, because it's a network. It's a global network, and they are collaborating between them. Yes. Mm. The question uh, I, I, but the, I, I, the pharmaceutical I, industry is uh, in the hands of the Bill Gates. He's yes. managing everything. He's managing a lot of universities as well, a lot of institutions, um, and many other things. But I don't want, I no, I don't want to touch in this live streaming this uh, this topic. It's lit. It's a little bit dangerous as well. This. Yeah. And why? Uh, why in China we uh, we observe that uh, Corona COVID this uh, nineteen uh, case uh, uh, shut down. Actually, there's no one here in China. Uh, because they have created in China this virus, I have been studying this case, and there are um, many versions of the COVID. There is COVID-19, 20, 21, and goes on. And it's a, it's a trap. I'm repeating again. It's a trap. Uh, before, many years ago, I have studied um, biotechnology, in my country, yes, in Republic of Moldova. And so we, we have uh, done a lot of experiences in the laboratories. Here in China, we have uh, done the same. We have experienced it firstly uh, uh, during the, uh, the developing of the viruses. And what's happened, they said, that it was a mistake, but I don't believe them. That they have spread it, they have spread it the virus in China. They have created, they have uh, applied it just to experience uh, the effect of the virus. Yes, yes. and it was in in a, in common accord with United States. Why, why they wanted to kill Italy? Do you know? No. Because they have, they, they have signed a, a contract, Italy. Between? between? Italy. Yes. But the virus in Italy, it was like a killer. I know I have many friends in Italy and and they, they, they were crying because of the, the uh, COVID-19 situation, which was caused in uh, young people, they, they are died. Like doctors of 45 years, 40 years, 42, that they didn't have the, the uh, health issues or diseases. And they are died. Why? Because uh, the, the symptoms of this virus, it's like it affects the muscles of the heart. Yes. Mm. And um, because the pulsation of the heart, it's, um, it's, it's become not, not normal, not stable, the heart doesn't resist to the pulsations, to, to the heart pulsation of the blood as well. If you, if you know, the heart has two rooms. Yeah, you are a doctor. Blood coagulation. Uh, no, not, no, no, the circulation of the blood through the two cameras, through the two rooms of the heart. You know, you, you, are, you are a doctor. Huh? That our heart has a, a two rooms through yes. where it is, is, is uh, uh, pulsing the, the blood. It's, it's filtered the blood through the two rooms, right? And because of, uh, uh, during the, the filtration of the, the blood through the two rooms, the, the COVID, it attacks, you know, the, the muscles of the heart. 
and a lot of people who 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 has um, for example uh, a, a low or high pressure of blood they they don't resist and that's the reason why a lot of people are dying yes But I, I have studied this. I have asked uh, as well um, a lot of people. I, I have had conversations with uh, doctors as well. And so they have explained the, the effect of the COVID on, on the um, uh, human, human health and why, mm -hmm. uh, why the people is dying. It's because because it affects not only our heart but all uh, our inter organ uh, intern uh, organs because of the temperature you know the temperature is rising up and if you cannot uh, balance the temperature you cannot control it and you know what is the uh, the most the most scaring because when a person is uh, infected uh, by COVID, no one wants to help the person. And they, they, are, they are leave the person in the quarantine and then you no, know, like they have to wait. They are, they are not help, helped like uh, immediately. And if the temperature in, in um, in the body is very high, it affects the internal organs. The people who, who has the background in the uh, medical field, they understand what I'm saying. Yes. And it affects, it, it affects all, all the internal organs. When the temperature is very high, the, the human body doesn't resist. The action of uh, COVID the action in humanity, immunity, action in uh, uh, the virus make other uh, bacteria, bacteria coming. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the action, the action of the virus in, in the pulmon. Yeah, in the pulmons, pulmon. the pulmons. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pulmon. Yes, uh, the virus uh, fix in the alveol, the alveol, and uh, try to make all other virus using the ADN of the alveol. There is another problem uh, about uh, about uh, the uh, the caillou, the caillou sanguin, mm -hmm. the caillou sanguin. Uh, when did the did the mer is high. Yeah. We know that uh, there is a, a blood block, blood sangha, blood caillou sangha. And when the, the, the caillou sangha migrates to the corona, this is corona, the obstruction. So, this is. Yeah, yeah. There is another problem. Uh, so, COVID 19 is intelligent. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the, 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 the it is made in vitro in laboratory because it is very very intelligent. When you come to the body, you stay here, in the nose, then yes. stay here, yeah. and you migrate to pump. First action, he uh, make high temperature. Yeah, high, yeah. very yeah. high temperature. So yeah. we make an analysis. We find CRP very 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 high. So the person will die if we don't inject corticoid. But the virus, he is clever. He is waiting for the, for the corticoid. Yeah, yeah. Because when we inject the corticoid in order to uh, make CRP uh, down. Yes, yes. The, when we make corticoid, we inject corticoid, corticoid is immunosuppressor. Immunosuppressor. He, you supremate the immunity. All the corticoid here. Im the immune system. Yes, they take off immunity of body. We call them uh, uh, immunosuppressor. Immunosuppressor. All corticoid. 
So mm -hmm. we, when we make, when we inject corticoid, there uh, will no immunity in the body. And in that moment, when no immunity in body, the virus will make a charge, charge viral. Will rise up, will rise yes. up, yes. Will attack the body. Attack because the body is, uh, weak. has no, it's weak. no, a weak, no immunity. Mm -hmm. So he is clever. If we don't make corticoid, may don't inject corticoid, the, 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 the person will die because the RP is very high and temperature will be very high. Yeah, yeah. And another problem with blood, a, a, a attack, uh, global uh, rouge. The cells. Yes. And global rouge with the immunoglobulin, we, they, 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 they make... Gemoglobin, uh, we, we call this gemoglobin. <laughs> yes. We make uh, Kayusonga. And Kayusonga, he migre until the heart and they block the corona yes, in yes. Uh, one hour. Yes. So uh, there is a lot of observation which uh, let us thinking that this virus was made in laboratory. Yes, of course. That's that's what I what 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 I told. It it was it was created. This virus was created with a reason. Yes. Because oh, this maybe. this is not a normal virus, you know, because when a virus it's it's um, it comes in a nat natural way, it disappears as well in a natural way. But this kind of virus it doesn't disappear like so it's pre it's spreading and spreading much and more and much more. So it's not normal. Yes. yes. Of course, we try go to take off this. Uh, but this. okay, the, uh, so let's uh, close this uh, 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 conversation of today. And I will thank you again. Um, I hope that the people who uh, um, is hearing us just can uh, can uh, learn something and just to protect themselves in this pandemic crazy time because it's it's a really crazy time uh, because of the virus the people is afraid to to go outside and they are afraid just to to lead a normal life um but uh, let's hope and do our best uh, all together and uh, just to, to protect ourselves and the and other people too. Thank you again, uh, David and Tufik too. And then um, we will keep in touch and I see you probably the, into the, the next uh, live streaming. Who wants to, to join me, of course. Okay, okay. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. I, -bye. I wish you a wonderful day. <laughs> Where's your wonderful day as well? Enjoy okay. your time. Okay.